Hi, my name is Nadia Lines. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Hertfordshire. And I'm really excited because this year one of my poems called Woodland for Sale has been chosen as one of the winners of the 2020 Tower Poetry Competition. So that's really exciting. Thank you very much. Um, this poem began life a couple of months ago um, after my dad and I drove back from Exeter and I saw on the side of the road a sign that read Woodland for Sale in huge letters. And there was no context for this sign whatsoever, so I was really, really intrigued as to as to who had put it there and, and why. And I began to imagine what I would do if I had my own plot of woodland. And so I got home that evening and I wrote down a couple of lines and sort of sketched out the outline of the poem. And over the next few months, I worked on revising it and developing it and adding a few more stanzas and a few more ideas until it became the poem that it is now. I wanted it to be sort of a a celebration of the natural world because I, I really really love the natural world and it's something that I'm missing quite a lot at the moment and and all sort of the, the magical creatures that you might find in a woodland but at the same time I, I also wanted it to be a bit of an environmental poem focusing mainly on my own guilt my own environmental guilt that I feel quite a lot of the time about all of the things that I have taken from the natural world sort of willingly and also unwillingly um, that I now can't give back. So I think that this poem is a is an exploration of my own sort of environmental guilt, as it were. So I hope you enjoy it. This is Woodland for Sale. I would work on a development of fairy rings, loop after loop of polka dot poodle skirt toadstools, rehoming the fairies falling from heads in exam halls. I'd reintroduce the wolf to his old friends and end the practice of pond dipping in favour of pond diving. The lakes I would decorate with the eerie jewellery of frog spawn and big breasted lily pads. The streams I would fill with miniature beluga and all the tuna I regret eating. I would seed a few forget-me-nots next to a swing which the centaurs could look upon but not sit on. Morning being born, foreign under their own firmament. It would rain beetles, spit spiders and drizzle deer, which would land unfazed, antlers raised, spun with bone and grace, trotting on. I'd have unknowable bird song. I would plant daisies as deeply as tattoos. I would make the kingfishers less camera shy and find the water voles and mice and kiss each of their baby heads one at a time. I would sprout rabbits in holes like spring pricked bulbs. I would melt dinosaur toys back to dinosaur oil give it proper burials. I toil in my woodland for hours, hoping that somehow, with love and grubby thumbs, I could sort the flowers with bees and give back all the trees. Thanks.